It has been almost 50 years since the Kentucky Wildcats have won an SEC championship in football, and almost 75 years since they won an outright SEC football title. With their only claimed national title in 1950, this program really hasn't seen elite level football in decades. And now with Oklahoma and Texas both joining the SEC, things will only get more challenging for this Kentucky program. They've even had their head coach say in regards to buying players, we could use some help. That's what they look like these days when you have 85 of them. I encourage anybody disgruntled to pony up some more. Well, Mr. Stoops, we don't accept excuses at Kentucky. So they went out and hired a man who has never made an excuse once in his life, Coach Bubba Bugsworth, who plans on instilling a level of winning this program has never seen and bringing this Kentucky football program their first undisputed national title. And we've got a lot of guys graduating. Ray Davis is going to the draft. Somehow they have him as a first round pick. I don't think that's going to happen in real life, but he does have a cool beard. But what about the guys that are graduating? Now, these guys that are graduating are also transfers in real life. That's usually how the roster is constructed. So that's why it looks like there's so many guys leaving. But honestly, I'm not trying to be a hater, but these guys aren't that that great. I mean, I don't really think we're losing much, to be honest with you, so yeah. So this is the class the prior regime is leaving Coach Bugsworth. I know a few of these guys, because Michigan tried to recruit them, like, I know Jared Smith, Brian Robinson, also Cutter Bully. I'm pretty sure he reclassified up. Terry on Nichols. So I'm familiar to some of these guys, but to be completely honest with you, this class is kind of poopy. Like, there's a lot of 50 overalls, so there's not really much here, to be honest with you. I mean, there's some solid players up here, but yeah, we are going to have to recruit a bit better than this if we have any chance to make a national it's hotter here, Coach Bugsworth. 37th in the country. I think Kentucky's definitely higher than that in real life. So maybe they just didn't recruit that well during the sim because you can't automatically put the recruit on their team in this. So you kind of have to simulate it and just hope that since a specific team is in such a big lead for a recruit, they just end up committing there. But sometimes it doesn't happen. Looks like it might have happened with this. Bro, Cutter's going to be our starting quarterback. They have no other quarterbacks on the roster. Oh my gosh. Okay, so clearly we are going to need to recruit some more quarterbacks. But Cutter, best of luck to you, dude. I don't know how you're going to do well as a your freshman 74 overall, but I wish you the best, man. We also need some running backs, too. I mean, man, there are definitely some spots in this roster that need some loving, so we need to get a running back, we need to get some quarterbacks, and we need to get some middle linebackers as well, because we got a bunch of walk-ons here, so yeah. There's definitely some weaknesses and holes on the roster, but all in all, it's still a pretty solid team, like Maxwell Harrison, you got Dion Walker, good God, 6'6", 350, oh my God. Michigan tried to recruit this kid, and I wish they would have gotten him, dude. They could have had another behemoth up front. J.J. Weaver, like, they have a really good defense, looks like. A couple good receivers. Dane Key, another guy Michigan tried to recruit. I'm sorry. Okay, there's just a lot of guys that Kentucky and Michigan recruit against, apparently. But, yeah, this team's not horrible. I don't expect us to do anything spectacular this year. Like, if we can get to a bowl game, I'll be pretty happy. It's too early to tell, but, I mean, we are 90 overall this year. We started off 1-1. One one. Our point differential sucks, though. We must have got a curb stop by somebody. I wonder who it was. Oh, gosh, dude. Texas A&M put us in a casket. Lost 38-7, to seven, but we did bounce back, beating our rival Louisville by two, which is nice. We got a giant enormous game today though at home we're playing oklahoma who's like a top 15 team or something like that we could win this game we could not i hope we do though that'd be nice and for this game against oklahoma we have 10 guys visiting this is by far the most important weekend of the season when it comes to recruiting because there's a lot of good players that actually want to come here so we need to capitalize coach bugsworth that's for sure man looking like they're gonna score first hopefully it's just a field goal my defense dude why is he so open over the what the heck is that defense dude the defense was supposed to carry us today and they are not doing their part bro we're down seven. I mean, the offense scored a touchdown. They're about to score again. I'm just hoping that maybe we can get, like, something fun right here. Maybe a fumble or something, please. Jackson. Arnold. Get some pass rush. Come on. Okay, there we go. An accurate pass. Okay, I'll take that. They're gonna sell for a field goal, right? Thank you, defense. You finally did something of value. Hopefully the offense can wake up now. That's the hope. Oh my gosh, they've not. I mean, they've scored once, but the defense is just so bad right now, man. I don't know what the problem is. It's a dire situation. We need to get a touch right here. Come on, Cutter. He's a big boy. R1, open, please. Touch out. Let's go. Okay, we still have life. We still have a chance. Going for two right here. Come on, Mr. Cutter. Bully. Triangle. X. There we go. Okay, two point. We're only down to eight points. The defense, though, we're going to have to get a stop, or we are definitely screwed. Yes, okay, the defense got a stop. They gave us a chance. We got to convert here, though, Cutter. X, touchdown. Easy. Let's go. Okay, go over two. Go over two. Let's make this a tight game, Mr. Bully. Come on. Okay, this is awkward. Square. Ooh. Ow, ball sack, dude. I got sacked. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, now defense, we have to get a stop since I couldn't convert that two points. My fault. I'm sorry. Please just get a stop. Let's blitz him. Let's bring down the rain. Bring down the pain. Come on, pass rush. Oh, no. Wow. 
That was not what I expected to happen. Well, I think this game is definitely over now, dude. Frick. Unfortunately, a close loss was not enough to move the needle with any of these guys. Like, none of them were impressed at all, dude. Oh, goodness, man. This really sucks. This is a missed opportunity, coach. There's no doubt about that. Oh, man. Six and six. Second to last in the SEC East. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but, I mean, six and six. Maybe we make a bowl game. We'll see. Oh, wait. No, I scheduled two FCS schools, didn't I? Yeah, I don't think there's any chance, dude. We lost to Florida by 10. South Carolina by 17. We beat Drake, though, at Mississippi State. We lost to Mizzou by 14. Beat Vandy. We actually beat Georgia. What? Oh, okay, then. So that's kind of odd. I don't know, man. I feel like we definitely should have beaten Mizzou in South Carolina, the Gamecocks, but both those losses are going to be the reason why this season was basically a failure. The question is, how did Cutter do in his first year starting? I think you... I'm going to guess he did pretty okay. Our punter was throwing passes. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, man. This quarterback situation is an absolute disaster. 26 touchdowns, so 12 receptions. That's not that bad, Cutter. For a true freshman in the SEC that really has no running game, that's not horrible because Demi, Sumo, Carnigbe really did nothing because we just don't have any good running backs, man. We had our cornerback carrying the ball. Oh my god. The depth on this roster is so bad. Dane Key was okay. So was Josh Caddis. I mean, there's some good players. It's just, like I said, the depth, man, it really hurt us this year. A defense that was J.J. Weaver with the most tackles. How many sacks did the big boy get? Six and a half for the big monstrosity. Deion Walker, 16 TFLs for him. Good job, Deion. I think the worst part of this whole situation is there's even worse news, which I don't even know if it's possible, but recruiting has gone so badly, man. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, this power font to not guy tried to get, but he locked us out, so that was not very nice of him. But we only have four commits. Yes, four. That's it. That is awful. I know, okay? You can slander me all you want because I deserve it, dude. I got into way too many recruiting battles as a first-year head coach, bro. Like, Coach Bugsworth is only, like, a level 7 coach, and we had no chance of winning most of these battles, and we are in five battles right now, and we will not be able to win all of them on Saturday, unfortunately. So, yeah, we already lost a boatload of them, like, this recruiting board. I think there's, like, 20 guys on it. We lost out on at least five, so I added some late. I mean, it's just a mess, bro. First-year recruiting has gotten so bad. I know things are off to a rough start, Coach Bugsworth, but we did just convince four of our best players to come back for another season. Maxwell Harrison, Dion Walker, Jagger Burton, and also Dane Key. So, I mean, the offseason is certainly going a lot better than the regular season has so far. Cannot complain about that. JJ's going to the draft, and so is Eli. Who else is graduating, though? Not too many guys. Thank the heavens, dude, because as you guys know, our recruiting class only got four guys in it right now. I don't think we have any other choice on Saturday day. The only thing we could do is just put 5,000 points to two guys. I'm choosing Taylor Baca and Brandon Bostic because we really need a running back and a tight end. Could really help us out for the future because those things are always hard to get. I want to maybe go after Tavier or Tavier, but I'd rather just get one of the running backs. If I don't get Brandon, this strategy will absolutely backfire because Brandon's a musket. I have to get Brandon and there's no point of going after Joseph because we already have a quarterback commit. So we'll see what happens. I'm just praying that there's some walk-ons that want to come to Kentucky. Maybe some corn-fed boys. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Oh, I don't know what happened. There's a lot of other teams' logos, which I don't like. We got Campbell Smith and David Swindle. We got Taylor and we got Brandon. Yes. Okay. Okay. Take a breath, Tanner. Everything's going to be all right. Have faith in Coach Bugsworth. Okay. 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. Considering, you know, what could have happened, this went probably the best it possibly could have. I and mean, maybe we could have gotten lucky and got both running backs, only putting points to one of them. But yeah, I could not complain, man. Next year, though, the strategy has got to be change though coach Bugsworth there's no doubt about that because this year's strategy was just not successful I mean there's some good players like Taylor Reggie Brandon like these guys are all studs but there's just only four of them the rest of these guys are just kind of eh our class might actually be ranked somewhat high because we signed a couple of five stars and maybe just one okay yeah never mind forget I just said I'm an idiot okay just take that back I'm sorry holy I think we might have hit the mother load I mean look at all these walk-ons like Travis Tom did not recruit this guy at all oh my goodness Mario Ballas <laughs> Kentucky's got some gems that are just walking on here. This kid, Chantre Smith. I mean, dude, Coach Bugsworth asked that he shall receive. We got another quarterback, Jamil Trujillo. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, oh, another one. By Medeal Carvin. How many walk? Dude, we got so lucky. KT Thomas, how lucky? Oh my goodness, I think that's all the walk-ons, but still, dude, that's like five or six guys and none of them are like that bad. Like, they might become stars in the future, so let's go, dude. The walk-on program is absolutely popping off right now. The squad for year two is definitely better, but we are ancient, dude. We are very
very old, so I think it's pretty clear that the recruiting class this year, it's got to be elite, Coach Bugsworth. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, dude. After the absolute crapper we had last year, this year, man, we got to recruit our tails off, that's for sure. Cutter is back at quarterback. Looks like he's an All-American. Good for you, man. I like him. I mean, he's a good player. 80 overall, 71 speed, 70 awareness. Hopefully, we can bump that up in the future. That'd be nice. And we're really going to have to recruit offensive line because our O-line is good for this year, but like you said, this entire offensive line is all seniors, basically, so yeah. We're going to lose all five of our offensive line starters for next year so we need to recruit some studs up front there's no ifs ands or buts about that for cutter in the future for the schedule this year i think i'm gonna learn my lesson i'm not scheduling the fcs schools i'm just gonna schedule as many crappy fbs schools as i can so we're scheduling akron playing louisville the rivalry game dude these schedules are gonna be godless bro kentucky's kind of shafted for the future especially with louisville like picking things up with jeff Brom. i don't know if they play every year or not but if they do like kentucky is gonna have a gauntlet of a schedule every single season dude especially with this new sec i mean oh my goodness man i feel bad for the wildcats bro oh my gosh but yeah this schedule is insane we play what four top 10 opponents dude oh god but we've managed it pretty well so far we're five and one i mean goodness dude we're 95 overall i don't really know how we are i mean i know we're good but i didn't realize we're that good how good is the rest of this uh division oh my gosh dude everybody is yoked bro who have we been so far though we beat akron louisville oklahoma they destroyed us we beat florida south carolina we had an overtime win against coastal carolina though Ooh, i don't like that but yeah our schedule is about a ramp up especially later in the year against georgia and tennessee got some more happy news recruiting is going so much better this year we already have more commits than we did all of last year which is kind of embarrassing to admit but it's the truth man we're definitely doing a way better job like our lowest overall is a 70 we already have how many commits one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh my goodness dude i think we have 11 or 12 commits bunch of linebackers like we need every position right now so we are definitely not being picky that's for sure we've got the ultimate test today though we are playing a new sc team texas they're i think the number one team in the country this is a very scary situation i just hope we don't get molly whopped like please just be competitive guys whoa let's go we're already up to a seven nothing start yes okay defense right here let's clutch up boys good stuff pass rush sack them yours thank you all oh, good defense boys fourth down so they'll be settling for a field goal dude this game's off to an awesome start especially on the road we just gotta keep us going though okay well we definitely have kept it going let's go we're up 11 let's score again right here cutter triangle that might be a touchdown back in the end zone yep over the middle let's go up 21 to 3 at the half i have no idea what's going on but i absolutely love it for coach bugsworth in the program like this has been a dominant performance we're up 14 we have a chance to make it 21 like dude let's just keep balling triangle square somebody get open nobody get open what the balls no okay well i gotta set up for a stupid field goal now i blame our offensive line Maybe they blitzed us. I don't really know. I can't really remember what happened. They might have blitzed us. I do not know. Just make the kick, though. We'll be up 17 points. Unless we have, like, a colossal disaster, this should be a W. Of course, they to make things interesting. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're only up six points. The good news is we just need one first down. It should be GG's Wildcats. Come on, boys. A little power out right into the heart of Texas right here. Power out into the heart of Texas. Let's go, man. Talk about a big upset W, dude. This is awesome for our season. Let's go, guys. Good win. Boy, we fell off quite the cliff, man. Oh, my gosh. We finished 8-4. What does that mean? We lost, like, what? Three out of our last, like, five or six games at least? Man, that is rough. Mississippi State beat us by 28. We bounced back, though. Beat Mizzou and Vandy in the last two weeks. They just did not go well. Especially Tennessee. That was an absolute whooping. I'm just going to assume that Cutter was a baller this year like he was last year. I mean, it's a sophomore season. Hopefully, there's no sophomore slump, and oh my gosh, there definitely was a sophomore slump. He didn't even throw for 2,000 yards this year, Cutter. That's very disappointing. We didn't really run the ball that well. I mean, Lavelle tried his best, but yeah, looks like Brandon actually got some carries too. That's good for him in the future. That should help him out. Receiving Dean Key was our guy. I mean, holy cow, dude. Receiving by committee, dude. Like, everybody got like 200 plus receiving yards, it looks like, and we didn't really throw the ball that much either. Like, Cutter only had 1,900 passing yards. Like, that is definitely way lower than what he had last year defensively though noah matthews had our most tackles and the most tfl surprise dude the big boy six six three fifty two eight and a half sacks dude this guy's like the hulk the football thing doesn't work out for him which obviously it more than likely will this guy would be an outstanding bodyguard at least we kept the recruiting momentum going like this class is by far going to be way better than the class last year and it has a lot of depth too which we desperately need since we have like a bazillion guys graduating so all in all dude things are picking up on the recruiting trail it does suck though that we finished the season so poorly i am very sad about that we still made a bowl game though for year two which is progress we're playing in the tag sack texas bowl against houston literally in houston texas do what kind of crappy home field advantage is that no excuses cutter let's score first come on bro chacho x okay i get out of there cutter just run cutter 
Cut her fast! Cut her fast! Let's go! Good job, buddy! Same score differential. They ended up scoring and we scored. I really think we could take this team to the woodshed, bro. We gotta get seven right here to help us out with that. X, is that touchdown? Cut her a laser! Dude, where was that during the season, bro? That was an absolute beam, man. Pew, pew, pew. Here we go. This is what I was hoping for. We're up 21 points. Let's score again, Cutter. Let's put this game out of reach. Square? Oh, Square's gonna be a touchdown. Easy, dude. These curl routes, man. It's literally a cheat code, man. It's like being Glenn Powell in public. I mean, every girl's gonna be staring at you nonstop. It was such a great win, dude. Dominant way that this season. I love it. Let's keep this positive momentum going. And this is not what I wanted to see. Bombard deal. Carvin's transferring to Western Kentucky, no. Bad bomb deal. Come back, okay? We'll have more than 120. That's fine. Oh, yeah! There we go. We convinced him. Can we convince Reggie, though? Dude, that 80 overall, he was like our best commit last year. Come on, Reggie. Don't be a jerk. Undecided. Come on, Reggie. Come back, dude. You'll start. I can promise you that. I don't know about the other guy, but you definitely will. Oh, that's so bad, dude. That blows. And then all these guys leaving, too, going to the draft, especially on defense. Man, there's a lot of good players leaving. It sucks this team really didn't accomplish anything of value. I hate to be that guy, but but man, we have four first-round picks, and we really did not do much with it. Some other really good players graduating, like Josh Caddis. There's a lot of studs leaving, man. I tried to warn you, man. I knew this season would be a pretty solid one for us. Honestly, I thought that maybe we'd be able to sneak into the playoff, but unfortunately, that did not occur. Well, at least we got a transfer back. I would still would have preferred to have kept Reggie, but Monte Elias, he kind of softens the blow a little bit. That's for sure. I think signing day this year is pretty self-explanatory. I want Brian now so bad. I absolutely need this kid 7500 points there i'm not going after mac i'm just too far behind i'd rather go after these guys at the bottom we should be able to get all three down here it's really just brian like i i need him please here we got brian let's go honestly i don't know how we did not get david eat benemi because we put 2000 points into him and we had a huge lead but i mean i don't care bro we got brian that's all i care about giving us the 12th rate class dude oh minor setback for a major comeback dude super duper stoked seven four stars 17 three stars i think it's ranked so high just because the sheer volume of recruits we had but i'm still super happy with it like this is a much needed class because i mean look at all the depth we have for the future now man 23 guys and all these guys aren't bad players like i think the lowest overall is a 67 that is so freaking good dude this is gonna be an amazing core to have for the future man coach bugsworth grand salami dude a plus plus you get my approval especially along the offensive line like i think some of these guys are gonna have to start immediately abby smith got brian now jalen johnson so yeah all three of these guys they might be instant starters we're probably have to recruit some more alignment next year too and we got some really good defenders like jacoby williams zendaya i, th I don't know if that's how you say that mcguire that jarvis goes and like there's just a lot of depth and a lot of quality man training time how did the boys work this offseason lots of plus fives on the first row this seems a lot better than i thought it would be i'll be completely honest man this is a really good sign i thought we might have fallen off a cliff this year but it looks like we will definitely be steady eddie let's go yeah i'm pleasantly surprised plus six for cutter plus six for shamar porter i mean there's a a lot of guys working hard, man. They are determined to get Coach Bugs worth a national title. I appreciate you guys. Cutter's back. I am super excited for this kid. You know, last year, I ain't gonna lie, he had a sophomore slump, okay? It's as simple as that. He was not nearly as good as he was this freshman season, but hopefully with more on him in the offense, more responsibility, he will perform because he is a really good wide receiver. I'm Shamar Porter, Brandon White, Ardell Banks, Anthony Brown Stevens. Dude, there's so much depth here. Holy yeah, okay. We gotta sling the ball around this year. There's no doubt about that. We need to be passing that thing. Sadly, that clearly has not worked. We are 4-7. and seven. It's a 91 overall. That is the SEC for you, dude. It is just so loaded, bro. I mean, George's a 99 and they're 5-6. and six. How is it even possible? Look at all these 99s up here. I don't understand it, dude. It is what it is. I mean, it's part of the challenge of the video, obviously, but the defense has really been bad this year. We lost the TCU week one. Oh my gosh, dude. We had a shootout against Louisville. Lost to freaking Oklahoma and Florida and South Carolina by like a bazillion points. Beat Texas State. I mean, all of our losses losses except for mississippi state and georgia were all blowouts man the only teams we've beaten are vandy mizzou texas state and louisville man that's it unfortunately i got some more sad news of the recruiting trail eric's henderson he locked us out that guy's going to south alabama i don't know about you bro chacho but that feels like the wrong decision there but best of luck to you eric's and then lachlan evans dude we lost this guy to penn state we lost another recruit to penn state earlier but yeah i couldn't really show you guys that because after they commit you have to wait a week and then they're off the recruiting board after that. And then Tristan, he's going to Tulsa, man. These freaking kids want to go to a group of five schools instead of us. It's very sad, but I mean, our class is ridiculously insane. So I'm not really upset with it. Like, look at this talent. Pro, this class is so good. 
<laughs> the best part is, like, I think it's only going to get better. Like, there's seven guys left on our board, and I would be shocked if we don't get at least four of them. So, yeah. I'm really happy with recruiting this year. We'll see if we can end the season strong, take a little moral victory on our way out of this year three for Coach Bugsworth. We're playing Tennessee. They're a rival at home. This would be a great way to end the season, man. So, hopefully, we can pull out the dub. Already down seven. This is not going great, man. We got to make sure that this is not a blowout. So, please, get seven right here. Dude, where is Cutter? Is he hurt or something? Yeah, he has an abdominal strain. Somehow that makes him out for two weeks. I don't quite get that. It doesn't matter. Just focus. Get seven. Square. Please. Yes. Touchdown. Oh, yes. That's going to be a TD, dude. That guy was wide open. Way to get some separation on that route. Good job, Brandon. Dude, we came to play today. We're tied at 10 now. Okay, and we have a chance to take our first lead of the game. We got to execute. I don't know this guy's first name is. I completely forget it. He has a cool last name, though. We're going to read option right here. Will this work? I don't know how fast this guy is. Is he fast enough? Oh, yes, he is. Let's go die. What's his first name? Jamil. Oh, that's right, Jamil. This is the guy we recruited, I think, in the first recruiting class this video. Or he walked on. I think he was the walk on. That's who he is. We're still battling. We're down three, though. And they have the ball in our territory. It's just not exactly where we want the ball to be right now. So defense, just please try to hold to a field goal. Interception. Please, dude. Yes, let's go! Woo-hoo-hoo! Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, we got a chance to win the game now. It's open. Jamil, what a throw! Okay, we're already past midfield. Let's go. X. There we go. Another first down. Dude, that guy is fast. I like him a lot. Kamari Anderson's got some turbo to him. Somebody get open. Two slants. Get out of there, Jamil. You're fast. Jamil, just run. Jamil, Jamil, Jamil. Dive, let's go! Okay, we got a touchdown lead. Actually, not a touchdown lead, but we have a lead now. Four points. Come on, guys. No touchdowns. I think this is Brian Robinson. Come on, buddy. You should have gone to Michigan. Swim move. Let's go. That was sweet, dude. Great way to end the game. Yeah, just die for the legs, boys. Let's go. We might have ended the season beating our rival Tennessee, but I don't think there's any doubt that this season did not go to play. And Cutter, how did he do? 26 and 6. Like, he was good, bro. It's just he got hurt. I mean, to be fair, though, even before he was hurt, we were like 4 and 5 or 4 and 6. So I don't think his injury really had too much of an effect on the season. But yeah, it still sucks either way. Rushing the ball, Brandon. Yikes, man. You know, I'll I'll give him a pass as he's only a sophomore and he's only 82 overall. He should get better, but that is just so gross. Should see some good receiving here. Yeah, there's just a lot of spread. Like, we never pass it to one guy, it looks like. We just spread the love to everyone, which I'm okay with. ELE, man, everybody love everybody. And then defensively, Noah Matthews had 90 tackles. Dude, did he have the most TFLs too? Dude, oh, it was him and Brian Robertson. They kind of shared the throne right there. And the most sacks was also Brian Robertson. Him and Tavion Gadsden. But yeah, man, we finished season five and seven in year three. It's not exactly ideal the good news is i won't get fired though because that's a thing that if it happened that would be a massive setback so very happy it has not happened yet but we are here player city stage and we have got three transfers oh my goodness dude i i, I don't really blame bama deal i made those promises and i did not fall through with any of them i'm sorry did i let you down but welcome to the club bama deal and then abby smith oh man no we can't have offensive linemen be transferred especially to coastal carolina dude oh my goodness he would have started next year probably sad news to start off the off season but jq hardaway's get drafted so is alex safari and then graduates really not that many guys man if only those three guys didn't transfer i mean the good news is the recruiting class we have coming in is really talented so maybe we would have cut some of the guys that have transferred but i don't know dude i really doubt we would have cut that offensive tackle abby smith he's just too big and good okay i'm feeling pretty good about this side of day i'll be honest dallas harvey he's a musket he would be the highest ranked recruit we've gotten the entire video not rankings wise but overall wise 84 for all true fresher the guy's so good and then josh nielsen i really want this guy He's got a lot of potential. 6, 7, 2, 13 scrambler. But we are down quite a bit for him. Honestly, I'm thinking about just giving all the points to Dallas, but I really want to try and get Josh. So we'll see what happens. Dante, we should get either way. But yeah, I just really want to get Dallas more than anything, man. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Coach Bugsworth is up to a level 17. Come on, give me both. Let's go. Yes, dude. I feel like I just won the wheel of fortune. Let's go. I take that back. I'm an idiot. I completely thought that since Josh was below Dallas on the order, it it was Josh that we got, and I just saw the same overall, and it was actually Dante. Wow. I feel scammed, man. This is an awful feeling. Lost this kid to Georgia. We need to really get a quarterback next year, man. That sucks. Dude, I was so excited, and I got freaking... Ugh. It's okay, though, man. That guy was gonna, like, make or break the video. The most important thing is that this class is probably, yeah, it's the best class the video when you factor in quality. Like, last year's class was the depth. This year's class is the talent. Oh, it's gonna be such a perfect play for the future. Like, this guy's a six-foot-four quarterback. Oh, my 
god. There are so many genetic freaks here, man. All these guys are just so lucky, man. But yeah, I mean, there's just so many good players, dude. I could talk about all of them, but they're all so good. I think it's gotta be a top 10 class. Yep, number seven of the country, baby. We just keep on moving up, even though we lost some games this year that I didn't want to lose. But hey, next year, man, we got it. We're gonna bounce back. I got faith. We just keep getting lucky with these walk-ons. I thought I was gonna start one of these true freshmen, but no, we got this two-star Juco Delante Moye, right tackle, 86 overall walking on. Let's go. I'll take him. Okay, yeah, he's gonna start at right tackle this year and next year probably too. I cannot emphasize how incredibly awesome that was. That was like the best news I've gotten all day. Besides the fact that I rediscovered how good 21 Pilots was in their prime. They had some absolute bangers, man. Their recent music though. I'm not gonna lie. Not that great in my opinion, but I'm not a music connoisseur. I shouldn't be the one to judge. Regardless, the point is this team, once again, is extremely talented, but will we be able to beat like the big dogs, like the 99 overall teams? I guess we will find out. Cutter Bully is going to be a humongous part of it, though, if we do manage to have a really good season this year. It's up to 92 awareness, so he's getting smarter and smarter on the field. I think that's what awareness is, like IQ and stuff like that. My awareness would be like in the 30s or 40s. I wouldn't even give myself the standard 50s, so yeah. But Cutter, you are definitely a stud muffin. Just got to show it this year, dude. As for defense, we have a really good secondary with Damon Green, 36. That's a cool number for a DB. Ty Bryant, he's a really good free safety. And then we also got Avery Stewart back here. All seniors that are redshirted, too, so they've been in the program. They know their way around the place. They're probably all big man on campus. So I think that they're going to perform their best this season. So can't wait for that. Where do they have us for the conference this year? All the way down here. There's a bunch of 95 overall teams again this year. Dude, why is every team yoked? At least we're 97 though. So maybe we can compete with some of these teams. But yeah, this conference and division specifically is just so talented, man. It's going to be tough to survive this division with only like two or three losses. But I mean, it could happen. It's possible. I have faith in my boys. Small sample size you know it's only one game but hey we're at, we won 24 to 48 so i can't complain how to cut or play okay that's what i need out of him this season we gotta have more of that he could be a heisman trophy candidate i don't know if he can win it but he could be a heisman trophy candidate so we just gotta keep that rolling but yeah we're playing louisville week two rivalry game it's very important that we win this because the sec is an absolute war dude oh my gosh dude literally we're like walking into a war zone bro oh my gosh i hate to add more stress and more stakes to this game too but there's like seven guys visiting and there's a lot of good players here so i think if we could win this game with it being a rivalry because that adds points to the visit i think that we could get some commitments man so guys just please beat louisville and then we'll worry about the war zone afterwards please don't make this game harder than it has to be dude we already done seven points we gotta score right here man circle oh dude let's talk about some separation that was beautiful nice dude that guy's got some speed good job ardale why do we have to make everything so stressful man we're down six i don't know what the problem is man i'm not liking the mojo this team's giving me right now i'm not gonna lie hopefully we can just score right here. Touchdown. Get more. Dude, corner out. Dude, that was so beautiful. Way to get a lot of separation right there, dude. That was literally perfection. Finally, dude, we're getting some separation. Oh, yes, it's so beautiful having a lead like this. Okay, rep B points. Cannot be content. We gotta get seven again. One of these two slants will get open. Cutter. We just need to find... Okay, neither of them got open. Awkward situation. Do I just run? Cutter? Cutter? Cutter, let's go! Man, good job, buddy. Okay, friends, it's as simple as this. Just gonna stop right here, and it's definitely GG's. Don't overcomplicate the situation. Just gonna stop. My defense, man to man. Our players are better than their players. Are you freak? Oh, he dropped him. Let's go. <laughs> he just got so lucky. I don't care. Do it's a W, which hopefully means we got some commits. And we did. Eric Quelan. We really need offensive linemen. Oh, quarterback Costa Peterson. So that must be an athlete. That guy's definitely an athlete. So we got four out of seven guys to commit that went on the visit. That is a high success rate. Good job, Coach Bugsworth. Man, this weekend went beautifully. So did the rest of the season. Honestly, finishing nine and three, six and three. This. SEC. I mean, I can't really complain. Looks like our defense is pretty good. Our offense, though, definitely carried the weight. Beat Oklahoma, dude. All three of our losses were back to back to back weeks. That freaking sucks. At least we finished the season really strong. Like, we gave Georgia their only loss, it looks like. I mean, our offense has been just so good this year, man. I wish that Louisville win was more impressive looking back at it since they only finished 6-6, six and six. but yeah, man. This three-game stretch definitely shafted us. They might be the reason why we don't make the playoff. Cutter Bully, though, looks like he was an absolute animal. 4,169 yards 44 touchdowns only four interceptions cutter oh 
Holland did. This is a first team All American type of season. Good job, buddy. Rushing the ball, it was better with Brandon. It was a little bit better, 5.2 yards per rush. And then Jordan McDonald, the true freshman, got 5.1. So these two will be studs in the future, especially next year. Receiving, I'm sure the receivers were so excited about the new offense. Our Dell was awesome. So was Shamar Porter. I mean, everybody got the ball, man. Even our running back or tight end, our third and fourth wide receiver. It was just a nice, everybody eats, kind of like a buffet. Defensively, Mason Daly was our leading tackler. Most TFLs was Grant Godfrey and the most set. Man, we really did not get any sacks or TFLs this year, which kind of sucks. But the defense wasn't bad. I mean, it did let us down in the biggest games, but it did just enough. I mean, 93 is not a bad record. And recruiting this year has just gone so beautifully. After we got all those guys to commit, we just kept the momentum rolling, man. It was kind of like a trade, choo-choo, you know what I mean? Like, as soon as the trade starts, it's hard to stop it, man. That's how it is on the recruiting trail this year for Coach Bucksworth. I mean, the host overall is a 70. There's a ton of depth, a ton of talent. I really have no complaints. I got everything I wanted. Like, yeah, I have no complaints. Everything is here that we needed to get. I am pissed about this, though, dude. How did Cutter not win the highs with this Ryan Covanda guy that threw for almost 1,000 yards less? He did not have nearly as many touchdowns as Cutter. Dude, this sucks. I mean, he ran the ball a little bit. I guess he was a nice little cool dual threat. But I think Cutter got shafted on the voting, man. That's for sure. I was really hoping it was justifiable for us to make the playoff so Cutter could get revenge, but there's just no reason, dude. I don't know why we were ranked so high. Like, I get it we beat Georgia, but there's just so many good teams this year, dude. So, yeah, I don't think we deserve to make the playoffs, so we're out of it. Great, man. This is an awesome consolation prize. We're playing Central Michigan, the Chippewas. Woohoo! Yeah, this is not gonna be exciting. I just hope that we absolutely kill that. That's my only hope. Definitely a snap at the start I was anticipating. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna bounce back. We're gonna be okay, Cutter. X, that's such one, right? Please be. Yes, laser. That was a nice throw. Good job, Kamari. Okay, maybe we're starting to get some separation. I'm not gonna lie. Central Michigan is definitely playing a lot better than I thought they would. It's making me kind of upset, but it's fine, too. We're still gonna win this game. We got this, Cutter. Circle? Is that a touchdown? Dude, I was right over that linebacker set. That guy was lost. He had no idea what was going on. Let's go. Good touchdown. I don't know why this had to be so close, man. I don't know. It is what it is. A win is a win. I can't really complain. Just get a first area here, guys. We should be GG's. Right at him, Brandon. Right at him, big boy, Brandon. That's not even that. You know, it's a first down. I was hoping for like a touchdown. Cool way to cap off the year, but it's fine, Brandon. It's all right, dude. It's GG's, though. It's all that really matters. Another offseason where Coach Bugsworth loses one of his best recruits, Austin DeBossi. He's going to Charlotte? Oh, my goodness, dude. He's from... Oh, my gosh. Okay, dude. This guy was going to be a stud here. Can we try Kavitsa, please? Undecided. Come on. Austin. Gosh dang it. That's depressing. At least we got some draft picks though. Cutter, Ardell, Shamar, Grant, and Ty Bride. So best of luck in the NFL to all you guys. Got some receivers, man. And quarterback, and middle linebacker, and free safety. But besides them, there's really not that many guys graduating. You know, it would have been nice to have had Austin come back, but with how big the last two recruiting classes are, and how big this one is this year, how is Kamari not getting drafted as a 93 overall tight end? That makes no sense, but yeah, we should be okay for next year. Probably not as good as this year, but we should be okay. Finally for Saturday, I I get to go with my good old patented. I have a patent for this strategy. It's the 6 9 strategy on Sunday day. 9,000 for BJ. Quite a name there, buddy. And then 6,000 for Cody Oliver or Olivier. Olivier, something like that. These two guys down here, I really couldn't care less if we get. I want the two big dogs up front. And we got a BJ and Cody Olivier. Oh, man. We got both big dogs up top, up front, whatever you want to call it. We got both, man. Let's go. Giving us the second rate class. Oh, my gosh. I did not think we'd be this high. Highly ranked, like, for recruiting. I knew that we had a really good class, but second, dude, if only it wasn't for freaking Alabama signing a bazillion five stars. Could have gotten first. And here's the hall. Clearly, you know, we needed to get a quarterback this year. You guys may be like, Tanner, there's no quarterbacks down here. Well, you're right at surface level, but we have, like, three different athletes, and I'm pretty sure both these guys are two out of the three, I should say. Costa Peterson and Jesse Flavin, they could both play quarterback. I don't know which one's gonna be the best yet. We'll see if position changes, but yeah, we got both those guys, so very happy about that. They're pretty fast, too, so they'll be good at dual threat. And then we got studs like Junior Taylor, BJ, Eric. I mean, there's just so many good players, man. Like, our recruiting in the last, like, three years has just been elite. I'll be honest. I don't know how these guys are both athletes. Like, their next ties overall to specific positions, like a 71 running back and 74 receiver. Like, both these guys, their highest overall is at quarterback. So, we're gonna have both of them here. Costa Peterson and Jesse Flavin. They're gonna be butting heads for the next three or four years. I really hope neither of these guys transfer. So, the best man can win. But I guess we're gonna find out, too. But, yeah. Really happy about these two studs being added to the quarterback room. Do I expect a little bit of a letdown season? Honestly, I 
don't know because the rest of the SEC hopefully is not nearly as good as it's been in years past. Like, it's been absolutely insane, dude. I don't know how it's been so good, but we're going into year five, so hopefully some of these teams have started to, like, not recruit as well as we have because we've definitely been recruiting at an elite level. So I think that we're going to start to separate soon. I just don't know if it's going to be this year. A big part of that is, I don't know, we have a quarterback. It's LeVar Lowry, and I'm not feeling great about it, man. I really wish I would have gotten one of these athletes, like, two or three years ago, but, you know, I was an absolute idiot, and I didn't really prioritize quarterback enough so that's my fault but he does have 84 awareness but he's just incredibly slow and you guys know i do not like turtle turtles in my quarterback room so yeah we'll see how he does i'm not expecting anything elite he does have a saving grace though because our tight end room is absolutely filthy dude 92 overall taylor baca we got thad rollin and then we got a 79 overall third string nick dillard then we got this guy we're redshirting bj from last year's recruiting class like he's gonna have three guys he can throw to underneath so i don't really think that he's like lacking weapons by any means it's just is he have the talent i guess we'll find out where are we ranked in the preseason though that's my yeah there's still a lot of insane teams dude texas has just been a juggernaut this video georgia's insane too ucf's up here oh yeah we're a 95 i figured we'd be a little bit worse alabama's also still a 99 oh man unless we like play out of our minds dude i don't know how we're gonna make the playoff this year the sec is still just so freaking good dude but at least we're in the top five for the preseason so coach bugsworth is getting his respect yep already two losses man Ugh, it's just, I feel like I'm banging my head against a wall, man. It's like a wall of, like, titanium or something like that. It's a very painful situation, man. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we lost, like, two really good teams. You barely beat Cincinnati. We did kill Louisville. It was Oklahoma. And then Florida put up 56 on us, bro. At least we bounced back and killed the Gamecocks. But we really have no impressive wins as of right now. And our schedule, it's still going to be really challenging to end the season. So maybe we'll turn things around. But Jerry Ramish, he locked us out. He's either going to Oklahoma or Georgia. It's not very nice of you, Jerry. Would have liked to have had another insanely good tight end in the room, but it is what it is. We do have three good commits, though. Ducksworth! That sounds pretty close to Bugsworth. I like that, Sean. Okay, and the D'Angelo Howden, and then Nam Lewis Dow. That guy's got, like, a philosopher name. I like that a lot. 6'5 athlete from DE. I'm pretty sure that's Delaware, so yeah. This recruiting class is gonna be a lot smaller this year. It's kind of by design, though, in my opinion, because the last three or four have been pretty big, and I don't want to cut so many guys this offseason. Season, so I'm pretty happy with recruiting. I don't think this class is going to be as good as the last two, though. At least that's how it's shaping up early on. But this week, though, Coach Bugsworth are playing Alabama. If we want, like, a milestone win, maybe a win to turn our season around, it's got to be today, dude, because we still haven't played Georgia yet, and I think that's going to be a loss. So if we want to turn this season around, guys, this has got to be a win. They've started strong. They already had a goal line. Hopefully they just get a field goal, though. To hand off out the middle, and <laughs> that will not happen. At least we somewhat answered. We actually scored a touchdown, but they have the ball back in our red zone, and we're down seven still. We gotta get a stop here, defense. Third and forever. Come on, defense. Pull up your jock straps. Nice sack. Let's go. Pass rush. I don't know who that guy was, but he gets a Twinkie. Good job. That is a massive win by the defense. Hopefully, you can block her here. I'm going to try and go through the A-gap. Loyal. Ugh, no. It's so hard to block kicks in this game. I think it's impossible. This is embarrassing, dude. On our home field, this is not the type of team that Coach Bugsworth has built. I mean, our offense cannot move the ball, man. It's just a bad situation. I just realized Alabama's 3-2 and two just like us. We are losing the battle of the disappointments unfortunately so we are the biggest disappointment please be a touchdown please please catch it thank you there's our tight end that guy's a stuck good job taylor oh my gosh okay we actually battled back this is how we want to go down we want to go down swinging boys but if they get a first down right here i think it's pretty obvious ggs boys we're gonna play aggressive come on defense man-to-man -man coverage dbs play some coverage that's really bad i think it's ggs if they just deal the ball out hand off tackle Okay, well, if it wasn't already GG's, it definitely is now, dude. God dang it. Might not have been a successful weekend on the field, but holy cow, we had a lot of guys commit on the visit. Connor Vincent, Trevor McKenzie. Now, none of these guys are, like, bona fide superstars, but 75, 72, 71? It's like, that's awesome. I'll take them. Is this what life is like as a Kentucky fan? I feel like a dog just trying to catch my tail right now. Like, we're just going in circles at this point, bro. Like, every year is 8-4, and 9-3, and 7-5, 6-6. Six six. It's all the same, dude. We still have yet to get a 10 win season, at least, yeah. If my memory serves me right, the defense was just so bad this year, man. I don't know what the problem is with the defense, but I'm pretty sure I don't think we've had a 10 win season yet, have we? Last year we did 10 and 3 if you count the bowl game. Okay, well, never mind that, but still, dude, like I said, I feel like we're going in circles. Can I look at the championship contenders? Like, I know we're going in the right direction. When are we going to pop off, though? That's my question. Next year, 11, 4, and then 1. So clearly we're going in the right direction. It's just taking us a little time to get there, man, which sucks. 
best, but patience is a virtue, and Coach Bugsworth is a patient bumblebee. Question turns to who do we end up losing to? Alabama finished 7-5, so they finished even worse than us. We beat Mississippi State, so we won our next two. We lost to Vanderbilt! Oh my god, dude. Poor bleach into my eyes. What am I looking at right now? We don't deserve anything after that loss, dude. We don't deserve anything nice. We somehow beat Georgia. We have had Georgia's number this entire video, but we can't beat Vanderbilt. I don't get it, bro. Then we beat Tennessee in overtime, so I mean, what? We've lost one out of our last six games, but the one loss was to the worst team we played. I don't understand that, dude. This team is very confuzzling. There's not really much new other recruiting trail besides we found a pretty good quarterback for the future, Jeff Mandrick. I think it's how you pronounce that. Like, this recruiting class is solid. I don't think it's as good as the last few, but it's not bad. I have no complaints, really. Like, this is a good core. Like, the recruiting's not a problem at this point. It's just a matter of getting all these guys to redshirt juniors, redshirt seniors to where they're the oldest and the best players on our team, which will happen soon, at least next year or the year after, hopefully. Gotta stay focused on the present, though, Coach Bugs, where they're playing Indiana in the Music City Bowl. My gosh, dude, these bowl games are so lame, man. We need to make the plow for once. We just need to focus. Let's just beat Indiana. X? Oh, that's the easy touch. What kind of crappy coverage was that, dude? Cannot leave Mr. Taylor Baca wide open like that. I don't know why the defense could play like this in the regular season, bro. Indiana cannot score on us. That might be more of an indictment on them, though. They might suck. I really don't know. They're 7-5 of so those. They can't be that bad. Either way, though. Let's just focus. Good touch right here. X? Oh, dude, what's up with them and just leaving our tight ends wide open? It's like the best part of our offense. Good job, Thad. Late in the game, it looks like this was just a nice cruise control win for us. We didn't really burn too much energy. It was just like a nice gallop in the forest. It's kind of what it feels like, but yeah, let's just score again. Circle? There we go. It's easy to touch that. GG's, boys. At least we ended the season on a happy note. Before we get to the offseason, I completely forgot to look at the stats. How did LeVar play? 30 touchdowns, 6... Like, our quarterback play wasn't bad, bro. Even Nick Santiago, when he played, he did pretty decently. Running backs, I mean, dude, Ja'Cory and Caffey, or Ka I thought it was Coffee for a second. It's Caffey. Brandon Bostic, like, we ran the ball well, too. What was the problem, man, is the defense. I know it was. I'm not that obtuse, at least I don't think I am. Taylor Bach. I mean, everybody did well in offense, it looks like. We, we, we ran the ball well. We passed the ball well. It's just defensively. Mario was not good enough, apparently. I don't know. We have good players on defense. I mean, there's a lot of young guys, though, as you guys can see. I've only seen one senior, two seniors now. So, I mean, the bright side is we'll have a lot of returning production for defense next year. The sad side is they let us down this year. There's no doubt about that. Hey, no transfers this year. I will take that. Jeremiah is going to the draft. So is Jameson and Delante. We're losing two really good offensive lineman and a really outstanding defensive tackle. But besides them, who else is graduating? Unfortunately, none of you guys are going to get drafted, which kind of sucks for you. But, you know, oh my goodness, how's our kicker not getting drafted? John Milborn, that's shocking. But truthfully, this was a young team, like I said, especially on defense. So we're not losing too much. For Saturday this year, Brandon Nwachuikwu, we really want to try and get this guy. Jay Jackson's pretty good at it. Also, Jamarcus Savage, I love that last name, especially for a fullback. That's sweet. I wish I had more points to try and go after this skyscraper, Ryan but I think I'd rather just get these positions, honestly, because we need a fullback, linebacker, and especially kicker. Success! We got Brandon, J. and Jamarcus, Ryan, dude, what could have been? I really wanted this big boy. Just didn't have enough points, man. So this is the haul for this year. Pretty underwhelming, I guess you could say, but, I mean, it's still a really good class. Like, I have no complaints. The only thing I would have wished that we could have gotten more offensive linemen, or maybe a couple of them, but, you know, we didn't get Brandon, so I was kind of the only guy on our board, but all in all, I can't really complain. Like, the class isn't bad. Sean looks like He's going to be a superstar defensive tackle. D'Angelo's only 5'9", 244. Quite the bowling ball at middle linebacker. Really good quarterback. I mean, there's a lot of athletes, too. So we got a lot of chess pieces for the future, which is nice. Class is definitely not going to be ranked as high as it was last year. We still signed three five-stars and eight four-stars. So, I mean, say what you want, but we still had a top-10 recruiting class. And we gained another star in Team Prestige, so that's nice. What is the squad looking like? Honestly, pretty solid. I think it's just really a matter of how we compete against, like, the big dogs. Like, every team in the SEC apparently is like the next coming of Alabama. Like every team is like a 95 overall. At least that's how it's been the last few years. Maybe this year, not every single team will be absolutely yoked. I mean, that's my only hope, man. The good news is that Nick took the quarterback job by the horns. I don't know how he improved so much more in the offseason than LeVar did, even though LeVar started last year. His awareness is up to a 99, dude. Nick Santiago, I don't know what he was doing all offseason. Must have been studying, bro. This guy's been hitting the books. He's ready to take off. And then defensively, we have a 
pretty good linebacker trio. Starting with Jacoby Williams at left outside linebacker. Got Zendaya McGuire up the middle. And then you got Mario Ballas at right outside linebacker. So the defense has got a lot of good old players on it now. I mean, after a year of development, there's still a ton of good young talent too. I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like we're just waiting to break through. One of these years, man, we're gonna pop off. I just don't know which one it'll be. I mean, maybe this year, but Florida's really good. So, oh, Georgia kind of fell off a little bit. We're in 97, so we're the second highest overall in our own division, but that really means nothing. Even Vanderbilt's a 90, dude. We lost to them last year. Every game is going to be an absolute dogfight, man. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. Looks like South Carolina already beat Oklahoma 49 to 17. Jeez, oh, Pete's the Gamecocks might be really good. So, I guess we will see, man. But we definitely have the talent to at least compete at the top of this conference. So far, I'd say we have. I mean, our defense is just so unbelievably just bad, man. It's been three games. What's 114 divided by three? It's around like what? It's like almost 40, right? Yeah, math is math, and that's just ridiculous. Our offense, though, it continues to be really good. We beat LSU 62 to 56 in overtime against Louisville. Oh my god, dude. The defense, man. I don't know who the coordinator is, but he needs to be fired. At least recruiting is basically almost finished. Like, the instant commit thing is just such a cheat code, bro. Like, we finally have it this year, and our entire recruiting class is basically already done. We really need an offensive line this year, and we've already got like four or five, or maybe even six of them committed. So, yeah, this class is absolutely phenomenal and it's only what week three or week four it's just not fair but the instant commit thing it's just op oh my goodness dude is this gonna be one of those games where we get curb stomped or are we actually going to make a sizable improvement coach bugsworth it's all up to you big boy man he's a large human we need to try and win this game dude this would be a huge win for the program i cannot emphasize this enough they're number one in the country we've got to win man one of the few times this video where i might actually run the ball right at him right Good God, dude. Our running back is huge. John Tree Smith is large. Good job, man. That guy's ripped. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm seeing ghosts right now, dude. Hopefully, I, it's actually not true. I don't want to see ghosts, bro. Ghosts are terrifying. Please just be a touchdown, bro. We are... I don't know what's going on right now, bro, but we're playing some awesome football. Let's keep doing it. We can't ever have anything nice, man. They won't go down out of fight. Oh gosh, okay. Defense, just get us over here, please. It's a handoff at the middle. I did a swim move, and it did absolutely nothing. Gosh dang it, dude. Now they have the lead in the third quarter. I don't know why I thought that things would be different this game. The entire video, we've just fallen so short, man. So short, but yet so far away. I don't know. It's a very depressing situation. We're down 10 points now. If we don't get a stop, we are definitely screwed. Please throw a pick. Okay, they're running. Kaliyawa! I missed it. That's... Oh my gosh, dude. It's like exhibit a million how horrible I am in the open field of tackling, dude. This sucks. Oh, we had this game, man. Bros are only lost the entire season. We won 11-1. Oh my dude. Florida, they are... They're gonna be hard to beat, bro, because we're definitely gonna make the playoff. As you guys can see, though, our offense carried. It was the best in the division. The defense, though, almost gave up 100 more points than Florida's defense did. I don't know how our defense is worse, even though they're higher overall than the offense. Like, that just makes negative sense, but I guess, I don't know. I was trying to think of a justification for it. I don't have one, man. We beat the Gamecocks. Were any of these games close? Mississippi State was close. Is that really the closest game? No, we barely beat Tennessee. Look at the offense, how many points we've scored, bro. If only the defense could just be a little bit more consistent, I think that we'd have a solid shot in the national title, but I am not too convinced, man. I will say, though, Nick Santiago probably had a really good year. Yeah, he did. He's hurt, though. Are you serious? Nick, it's not good timing, bro. Chacho, we're about to be in the playoff, man. Good thing is LeVar clearly has the experience. He started last year, but Nick, man, he balled out. Sucks he got hurt. Rushing the ball, John Tree was really good. Also, Jordan McDonald, I mean, 6.7, 6.3, that's really good. Receiving Joey Loyal was our leading receiver. 1,000, almost two 1,000 yard receivers. Anthony Richardson, Taylor Bach, it was good. So was Christian Stokes. Just a lot of good receivers right here. Defensively, these are the guys that have been letting me down most of this video, honestly, especially the last few years. Only 18 TFLs for Mario. I mean, he's doing his part. It's just the rest of the defense. I don't know what the problem is, dude. There's talent here, man. Look at all the 90 plus overalls. For whatever reason, it just doesn't come together, man. I don't get it. It's like putting every candy imaginable in a bowl of ice cream and expecting it to taste good. It just feels like it's overkill, so that it doesn't taste good. It might be a bad analogy, but hopefully you get what I mean, because that's what it feels like. Playoff time is here, and upset alert, dude, Central Michigan, didn't we play them last year and we beat them, or was that two years ago? I could have sworn we played Central Michigan in a bowl game this year, so kind of a little bit of a uh, rematch after they beat UCF, man, that's an upset, this is exciting, all right. Oh my goodness, dude, they're already freaking lead, what's going on? Okay, we gotta wake up, dude, we cannot lose this game. Zarko? Oh, that was beautiful, way to kill man coverage, touchdown, let's go, what a catch, Anthony Richardson, not the quarterback, but the receiver, good job, Anthony. Okay, I really think that that touchdown 
touchdown they scored first might just be a blip on the radar, even though our defense has sucked all year. So maybe it's not. I don't know. Either way, let's get Seminar here. Triangle? Oh, yeah, that's open, dude. Why do they not guard Thad? I mean, what are we doing, bro? You gotta guard Mr. Thad. Oh, it's so pretty. We're gonna blow them out. We're up to eight to seven. Another touchdown. Should be GG's, boys. Square late. Square late. Nick Santiago! What a throw! Let's go! It's Anthony Richardson again! That's GG's boys out of the semis, man. Thankfully, this game was not close. I mean, come on. We all knew who we were gonna play. Florida. Somehow they lost. They must have lost in the SEC title game, but yeah. They scored 59 against Boston College. I have a weird feeling this game's gonna be very high scoring once again. Hopefully, we get revenge this time. We'll see. Man, this is really rough. We're already down 7, and they have the ball inside the 10. I'm not a fan of the situation at all, dude. Come on, defense. Oh, no. It's a screen. Oh, no, dude, please, please, please tackle. Please tackle. Thank you. Okay, dude. We really needed to hold him to a field goal. And it looks like we will. This game has just been so strange, dude. Like, our defense is actually playing good for once, but the offense literally does not have a single point. It's the fourth quarter. It's just a bad situation, bro. We gotta get seven right here to give ourselves a chance to come back. Come on, offense. Finally do something of value. Keeper. Nick Santiago. <laughs> Cut it inside. Santiago. Let's go. We finally scored. We're only down three, man. The defense has kept us in this game. Yes. Oh, my God. We scored again. Okay. We have a chance to win this game. We got to get a start right here, though, defense. If we have any chance, come on, boys. Time to clutch up. Who has got that mob of mentality? Who's got the Michael Jordan gene? Are they really running the ball? And it's really going to work. That is so heartbreaking. Gosh, dang it. Okay. I thought for sure they'd go for it here. But I got them to a fourth and 20. And they're not going for it. Maybe it's smart to punt. But I don't know. I don't, that's strange. Okay. Just one first down, boys. And it should be GG's. Okay. Hand out to the outside. Oh, yes. That's in the lane. Let's go. That might be a touchdown. Oh, it's not going to be a touchdown. But it's definitely a first down. That's GG's, boys. Let's go. We pull off the upset. Good job, John Trey. And, of course, it's the triple option. Man, nothing terrifies me more in this game than Army and the triple option. I still don't know how we beat Florida. So, I mean, we beat the best team in college football. In my opinion, Florida was absolutely yoked. So, we'll see about Army. The only thing I'm worried about, though, is that triple option, dude. It's impossible to beat. Got to start strong. Nicholas Santiago. Get out of there, Nick. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, let's go! Thad, man, he's been a stud this playoff run. The triple option refuses to go away, man. It's a dog fight. 10 to 14 in the second quarter. Honestly, though, I feel pretty good. Like, you know, we've seen their fastball. We know what it's all about. The only thing I'm worried about is that curveball, man. So hopefully we don't have to worry about that. Let's just score seven right here. I don't know what formation this is, but it looks kind of cool. X. Triangle. Let's touch on Thad. Go, Thad. Dive, let's go. He wanted that touchdown, man. Thad's got to get it. The stats for his girlfriend. She likes his name in the paper. She's an old soul. Okay, this is where we really got to execute. We can make this a two-score game if we can get seven right here. Guys, please, touchdown. No field goal. Ten points is fine, but I prefer 14. X. Bruh. Dude. No. That's my fault. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe I threw a pick. Please just tackle him. Okay, that's so bad, dude. I cannot believe. Oh, God, Tanner. They ended up getting a field goal, which is fine. Kind of mitigated the damage there. We have a chance to get it back to double digits, though. Dude, I cannot throw a pick like I did last time. I'll let you down, Nick. You're probably upset with Tanner right now, so... I'm gonna try and make it up to you, bro. X? Is that a touchdown, dude? What kind of defense was that? You cannot leave Mr. Baca open. Good job, Taylor. Well, they got a touchdown, which freaking sucks. They're making things interesting. Please just recover the onside. Come on. Yes, thank you. Good hands right there, Stokes. Okay, all we need is, I think, one first down, and we should be national champs, boys. Let's out army army. Out army army. Okay, that did not out army army. Dang it, dude. Now we have to create this third seven. I like this, though. I like what I'm seeing on the screen right here. Lots of good route combos. X potentially. It's easy. Taylor Baca, let's go. <laughs> That's going to be GG's, boys. And there we have it, Coach Bugsworth. It's official. Kentucky is now a national champion. We didn't win the SEC championship or even go to one. But that doesn't matter, dude. In the 12-team playoff, we were able to hide in the grass and strike at the most opportune time. I still don't know how we beat Florida, to be honest with you. But I don't care, dude. A natty is a natty. Let's go, boys. It was a really odd six years because I didn't know how long it would take for us to break through. Honestly. See, I thought it would happen next year, not this year. I still don't know, like I said, how we beat Florida. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. But it doesn't matter, dude. We beat him. So Coach Bugsworth accomplishes the task that he came here to do to win Kentucky a national title. And if you enjoyed, click the video on the screen where I took over Michigan because Jim Harbaugh left. I think you'll love it.